about it. All right, on behalf of all of the uh, 85 program participants, Melissa Shields, our director, we proudly open the UCP facility here on the 100th. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Gloria. How are you? How you doing? Okay, good. Good, good evening, everybody. <laughs> um, I would like to say a few words to... They have five... All they have five staff that's here. They do a wonderful job. According to uh, uh, Melissa, do a good job. She's a good director. She does everything that we need to be done. Can I, can I have the Eli's attention? Excuse me for one second. Sure. Can I please have It might be hard to get everybody's. I got to hold it. Um, um, we got the whole world's attention with what we're recording, okay? Um, everybody, if they have fun with a good bunch of good staff in here that do a lot of things that we do. We do photography, we do um, um, painting, um, we do all kinds of things in this facility that everybody gets along with everybody in here. Everybody gets along with staff that people don't think, a lot of people think, because you hit disability don't mean a thing. When you do a lot of things for people, you get great things that you need. You need people to help you out and stuff like that. And what do you do here? The things that we do in here is a little different than kind of what we have. You got photography? You want to make a TV show? Are you put me out of business? <laughs> we have the talking group. And we have um, sensory group. We have. Um, um, the um, what Alex does, and and Manada has a, a painting group. We have a my group. My group does a lot of painting, so we try to make we try to do things a little different than everybody, you know, because we have people that's low functioning in here, and we try to get along with people that can't talk, and we try to talk for them, and people think that um. Uh, a lot of people think that you don't get accomplished. You don't get accomplished. Yes, you do get accomplished. You do certain things for people that things a lot of people don't think. A lot of people don't think that you disabled. Don't get that twisted because you you do a lot of things that people don't know. You I've been I've been, this is, I've been here almost. This is like. My first year here, I like the neighborhood. The people are nice here. They respect you. They treat you with respect. And some of the people that are like Bernardo, that's my hashtag over there. And and Melissa, Melissa um, is the director for the program. She does a lot of things that people don't know about. She is a very good director. You, you said, let me ask you a question. You said that disabled people do a lot of things that nobody knows that they're doing. Right, right. right Why do you feel right. that? Because they think you're disabled because you don't know how to read and write. There's a way to work. I got a job. As a matter of fact, I work in Brooklyn. I work for the state in Brooklyn. I got a job. I've been working now almost five months, five, mo five weeks already. This is my third six weeks away working as a job. I went looking for a job on my Beautiful. own. What's good news for you? What's good? What makes you happy? Well, I'm a happy person. I like to be here because these people are nice here. And they teach, me, they teach you with respect. And that's how it should be done. With every place you go, you work with anybody. Staff are nice here. 
I like the I like the atmosphere here, the people are cool here. They they treat you like you you're a human being person. They don't treat you like you somebody that don't know better. Yes you do. They treat you with respect. Thank you so much, Gloria. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Edward Matthews. Hi, Edward. How are you? The Chief Executive Officer, uh, Cerebral Palsy for the... Ma New York City. Okay. We've spoken with you many times yep. before at all kinds of locations. That's true. Because you're, you're, uh, you're out there. So what does this meet day mean to you? Uh, this is really something. You know, we've been working on this facility for the last three or four years. And like most things like this, it has ups and downs and fits and starts. But we, really t we wanted to be in this neighborhood. We wanted to have the folks from... Uh, the Bronx and Upper Manhattan who, who have been program participants with us for years to have a facility in their own neighborhood and also to, to be in a neighborhood which the community would accept us so well and help us interact and as I said in my own uh, remarks here work with their non-disabled peers so that's what it means to us it's a really a, a, a great uh, it's a great uh, metamorphosis for us really as an organization to be able to uh, get everybody to the next level of what programming is going to be like in the future for disabled people in the city of New York. Fantastic. What's good news for you then? Oh, this is great. What is good news? Well, this is great. You know, we, had, we have government back, cutbacks. We have all kinds of things going on. But despite all of that, the good news is that UCP and the people it serves are still thriving. And that's the greatest news ever. Congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very Thank much. You.